appears to have moved from New York to Washington as a uh, plane hit the Pentagon at 9.35. And then the State Department, a car bomb exploded. We are about to see it here, Jim. The second this tower the second just tower completely down. collapses on itself. And I, 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 we don't know what caused the collapse, but it seems, it, uh, it seems, it appears that just structural damage from all that fire, uh, although we do not know whether there was some sort of you know, timed explosion, but it, it, it does appear that all that fire... And in the end, it doesn't much matter. The, the, yeah. uh, the uh, core was damaged. We know that from talking to witnesses earlier, right. people who were in the building. We do know the core of both buildings was, uh, were damaged, the cores were damaged, uh, and uh, apparently the, the building just couldn't withstand the... Uh, the mass of the explosion. Th this is, is so surreal, ladies and gentlemen. We are sitting here watching this with you, and uh, re really, we're, we're trying to talk, but words cannot describe what we're seeing. We, we should point out, Bill, that we don't know here how... The, here comes the second tower again from the, from the ground floor. This is from our Michelle Charlesworth vantage point. The north side. She, she north was on side. the west side highway yeah. when, she shot, when her crew Look shot this, that. and this is, you see it just imploding. Bill, I think it is important to point out that we don't know how far the evacuation had come right. to this point, but we do know that we have talked to people on the ground who were at least on the 56th floor. We know that there were people high enough up in that building so that they... 45 minutes before the evacuation. I mean, it, I mean after, Before the after building the, came yeah, before down, the absolutely. Right. And so it's fair to say that, that, uh, that lots, hundreds and hundreds of people got out of that building without being terribly hurt. We know there will be casualties. We just don't want to make it worse than it is because some people were clearly able to get out of that building. Right. Before they came down, there was a lot of time to evacuate. Remember, in the, World Trade Center, remember in the World Trade Center, uh, the original explosion there, uh, people got out of there very quickly. Remember the pictures from that? They got out of there very quickly in a very well-organized way. Uh, we, can, uh, we can hope and pray that, uh, that the evacuation was well underway at this point uh, mm -hmm. as well. Good point, Jim. Uh, we do not know. Control room, if I can ask you, when you hear of any information about injuries or fatalities, we would like to pass that on to our, to our viewers. We have reporters on the scene. We have re reporters all over Manhattan and lower Manhattan. We're trying to get signals from them. As you know, if you try to use a cell phone, the cell phones appear to be out, and it's very difficult to have communication is very difficult. We do not have, we've lost communication with John Del Journal, our news copter seven. Dave, Dave Evans, Evans is back here. Of course, he was talking earlier, this being primary day, and the very latest, there were discussions on what could be done. I just got off the phone with uh, the top officials at the Board of Elections. They have gone ahead and they have canceled the election uh, for today. This is, of course, a primary vote. There was some question as to whether they could go ahead and do this because mm -hmm. of what the general election provision is, that you can go ahead and cancel a vote if it's during the... Dave, I'm interrupting for one second. Go We're ahead. seeing a U.S. fighter plane. And I, Jim, do you know what kind of plane it's that is? It's an F-16. It's an F-16 U.S. fighter plane patrolling the skies of Manhattan. Dave Evans is here explaining that the election has been canceled today. Yes, the primary has. election for New York City for mayor and about three dozen other, other seats. Uh, a thousand candidates on that ballot and obviously it has been canceled. Mayor Giuliani, David, do we know where he is? We don't know yet where he is. Uh, of course the mayor's bunker uh, is what we call yeah, it exactly. and that is the uh, emergency center where all of the police and the fire and the emergency officials go. That is on the 23rd floor of the World Trade Center, I believe in the North Tower. So we don't know exactly where, of course, the mayor is right now. We expect there to be a news conference. Uh, we've called down to City Hall and we believe that they will have something out of City Hall here shortly. But that bunker is, of course, gone. Yes. All right, All right. let's go back to Michelle Charlesworth, who is on West Side Highway uh, with the very latest from there. Michelle. Uh, we last came to you about half an hour ago. We're standing on the West Side Highway. The North Tower just came down. Of course, the South Tower of the World Trade Center coming down uh, moments before that. We watched the whole thing come down. Where there used to be the two towers, there's now just plumes of smoke, people running from that area. One of the people who ran away well, Cheryl Fiendaka, one of our reporters, Cheryl, tell me what you saw. How many, we're about 30 blocks away from what happened. You were next to the South Tower? I was right next to the South Tower. It was about two blocks away. Um, the, it was just a, a small explosion and then rocks and debris and everything started pouring down. Firefighters, everyone yelling, run, run. People running down the street. Lots of injuries up there, lots of injuries. Lots of firefighters are injured. Uh, many have smoke inhalation problems, but many have serious injuries. And there are a lot of bandaged people. 
people up there. Right, obviously we don't know what's in the smoke. Some people speculating who knows what could have been in there. West Side Highway totally shut down. The ambulances coming back though are not filled with people. No, the ambulances are not filled with people. They're treating a lot of people. There's triage going on right up the street here with a lot of the firefighters who are trying to fight this and see if there are any people under the debris. Uh, it's very, very, very scary situation up there and they're asking everybody to stay away. As you can see, they're asking people to stay out of this area. We are, what, 30 blocks from what happened. The South Tower came down first. The North Tower came down second. About an hour and a half ago, I can't believe it was an hour and a half ago, we heard the first report of a plane hitting one of these.